It is the top of the hour, and this is Frank, and I will be your host again today. Um, I'd like to ask for prayer for Jeff Schwarz, my moderator. He was admitted to the hospital last night with chest pains. Uh, Jeff is in his mid-70s, so when things like that go wrong, you like to... Um, give attention to it right away so if those of my followers who are of faith i'm going to just ask that you say a prayer for jeff for his speedy recovery so he'll be back with us next week and every week thereafter all right so we um i sent out a i sent out a bulletin this morning or invitation to today's meeting. Um, can anyone tell me what you're seeing on the screen right now? Nothing. Okay. Uh, yes. The no, email. we see the invitation. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Well, um, you know, what we did is we started the beta test. Oops. I have to mute all but I can't find the mute all button. Oh, come on, Frank. Don't do this to me. Diane, if you could find the mute all button. I can't. You quit. When you switch screens, it clicked me out. Oh, okay. Um, then I better, I better do something about that. I best do something about that. Why is this... You know, it, it just kills me. It seems like every week this this system changes, and I can't, I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out because um, it keeps changing. Um, well, I'm going to hope that everyone just mutes themselves because I can't find the mute all button, which is okay. Usually, I'm muting the... myself. Yeah, okay. we can mute ourselves. I found the mute all button. I was right. Okay. So everyone's muted. All right. So in order to unmute yourself, just unmute yourself and then move forward. All right. <clears throat> so we're, we're going to have, I think this will be a pretty short uh, message today because um, we started a beta test about two weeks ago now. And the beta test is for the for the personal term loan for credit challenged people. We've you, whenever you do a beta test, you find out what you don't know, and you don't know what you don't know, so you do a beta test. And we found out a lot of things that we didn't know, and uh, even a fully automated system, if you have to hand load a fully automated system, it just bogs down real easy. The new system that we have is going to, is going to be um, completely automated so that we don't have to get too deeply involved in it. And um, that is the goal. Now, it is the holidays. So a lot of people, a lot of lenders close down over the holidays. And I don't know if this particular lender is going to close down, but I do know um, that my, my partner that is doing this, he is leaving for um, from thir tomorrow, Thursday, until the end of the year. So what I want to do is I want everyone to not, do not, do not, do not promise 24 to 48 hour approvals because we can't give them. So don't promise anything we can't give. But I do want you to begin now to gather people and get their credit worked on as soon as possible so that when, uh, when they get the high, so they can get the highest amount of um, funding if their scores are better. So I'm gonna to try to say that in English. I don't think that was very good English. 
what we want to do is when we have somebody to fill out an application, one of the things we ask for is for them to go to um, the credit report. The it's identity IQ credit report right here is the link. So you should you should cut and paste these links and save them where you can use them easily. Um, okay. I think that you're paying attention to the, I think, I think, um, Diane, you're still the co-host. So you do have the ability to let people in. I see people are still coming in, so. All right. Yeah, still letting them in. Okay, good. All right, All right. let me get let me get back. Then. All right, so let let's start over again. Man, I'm so tongue tied. Maybe I can edit this out. The beta test is going to end the first week in January. We're going to go for a hard launch on the 15th of January, and part of the reason is is a lot of the lending facilities closed down at the end of the year. And we are at the end of the year, we're in the holidays. A lot of people are going away for the holidays, even though they're not afraid of COVID virus. They're, they're taking off and they're flying or driving or they're going away. So we don't need a whole lot more people entered into the system expecting a 24 to 48 hour approval. Yes, please continue to allow people to come into the system and please make sure that they go to the link so that they can get their credit report. We will begin right now, probably next week uh, or maybe the end of this week, we'll have a, a, uh, a training on how to read a credit report. Once we read a credit report, we'll know how to direct this client. So let's say you have a client with a, five, a 550 FICO score. They may not get a whole lot of money with a 550 FICO score, and they may have a problem on their credit report. And we may be able to address that problem and fix it right away. If we can't, we would like to be able to discuss with the clients alternatives like for example, the credit repair program that we have. We can put them on the credit repair program and it's only $79 to start. It's $120 per month for six months. And they give you 12 months worth of service and a seven year guarantee. If anybody knows anything about credit, seven years is a lifetime because after seven years it drops off anyway. So we have a, a new system that, you know, everyone who knows me knows I never liked credit repair, but now I do because I have a good system that actually works. And it's very inexpensive to get started. It's very inexpensive to keep up. And if you have a client and you need to put them through this program in by the time we're ready to launch on the 15th of January, once we're ready to launch again, for real, all of those people will have a higher credit score. And because they have a higher credit score, they will have more money. So that's how it works. The higher your credit score is, the more money you'll be qualified for. And it will go anywhere from 3000 all the way up to 50,000, whether it's personal or business or both. Remember that we do both. So it might be personal, might be business, might be both. Now, the next thing we have is credit restoration. This is rebuilding your life, rebuilding your uh, credit profile. There are actually 12 different programs that are working simultaneously. It's not just one program and it cost $188 to start, $89 per month. There is no contract. You set your own goal and you quit when you reach that goal. So it, this is a great alternative. And I personally went through um, the crash the, when we had the crash 
the real estate crash. I had too much real estate and I ended up having a severe, severe problem. And I went from the low fives, 535, all the way up into 720. And then, you know, I, I've gone way beyond that up into the eights now. So this, this program has 12 different ways that they rebuild your life. It's not just one. I constantly say the absence of bad credit does not constitute good credit. We can remove something that's negative, but if we don't put back something that's positive, all we've done is we remove the negative. Now you might go up a little bit, but if you remove that negative and you replace it with a positive, now you're gonna go skyrocket. And that's what this credit restoration program is all about. The last one is credit sterilization, of course, with a price tag of $2,595. It's not for everybody, but for those people who need an instant fix because they're looking at a big um, investment and they can't get the money if they've got a particular problem, then $2,595, if they stand to make a lot of money, $2,595 may not be much, but this, I don't think the standard ma and pa uh, grocery store, I don't think they're going to want to go for that, but who knows? Uh, you don't, you can't tell anyone what they can or what they can't do. You just leave it up to them. You give them the three choices. You guide them to the way that you'll do best. Now, in case you don't feel up for the job, of guiding them through. When you get the inf when you get the application filled out, and they've sent you their copy of their credit report, and you've had a chance to go over it, if you don't feel qualified to discuss the three levels, um, Regina is is coming on board as our um, credit executive. She will be working with you, hand in hand with you. And she, you can pass your clients to Regina and Regina will uh, contact your client. I would like it to be a warm handoff. In other words, if you have Mary and you see Mary, you have some major problems on your credit report and a, a based on your credit report, in order for you to get the maximum amount of money, we'll have to do something with your credit. We have three different services that we can provide. Do you mind if I introduce you to Regina? Mary says, why, of course not. Let's do it. So while Mary is on the phone with you, you initiate a three-way to Regina and you ask Regina, Regina, I have Mary on the phone here with me and she's got a small uh, credit challenge and she's applying for the PTLCC. And uh, I think you might be able to help her. Could you talk with her for a minute? Regina will say yes, speak with her, schedule an appointment for an hour from now, off of tomorrow, off of whenever they can focus on speaking. And then, at that point in time, uh, they complete their appointment and then Regina will find the correct solution for the situation, whether it is credit repair or credit restoration, or if it's a big deal, like I said, it could be credit sterilization. Regina, um, could you introduce yourself and say a few words about your background? Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Regina. I'm uh, a native of Georgia. I'm excited to come aboard uh, to assist uh, with this endeavor as it relates to credit um, rebuilding or restoration. Uh, my background is um, 10 years of human resources um, in the financial sector and corporate America and Homeland Security. 
Um, in addition to, I have a social justice background of seven years uh, with an educational focus, inclusive of children with disability. I am currently, I've worked on several different political campaigns. I'm currently out in the field uh, as it relates to the final runoff. So that's just a brief synopsis of my um, professional credentials. So I'm excited to assist the team. Thank you very much for that. I certainly appreciate that. And uh, Regina wasn't expecting that. So that was very I good. I was not. You did a, <laughs> Thank you. You did a great, you did a great job. Um, Thank you. So, so the point is, the point is that um, if you don't feel comfortable talking to your clients about their personal credit, um, we have somebody who can step in with and and handle them professionally. That's a that's a very important thing. You want to make the client feel like that we really appreciate their business, and you want to make the client and feel feel important themselves. A lot of people who have credit challenges. They don't want to speak to another human being in the world. They don't want anyone to know that that they have a compute a, a credit challenge. So if you hand them off to somebody who is discreet, professional, articulate, and can understand their problems, then they feel, you know, they feel comfortable. And people like to do business with people that they know, like, and trust. And so if we help them out and if we get their credit scores, whatever the problem is, we get it taken care of, we get it taken off, um, whatever the problem is, we, we address the problem. And when once we address that problem, they now can uh, qualify for much more money than they did before. And believe me, if you give them double what they were looking for originally, they will not only like you, they're going to love you. So you'll, they, they will do business with people that they know, like, and trust. Now, the whole reason that we're doing the, the small ticket is to get people to know, like, and trust us. That's number one. Number two is to get them in a, in a position where they can actually do something. A lot of people might want to start a business, uh, invest in real estate, um, uh, fill an office with, with uh, equipment, or buy, it might be a dentist who needs to buy a $100,000 piece of equipment. Um, when you, and a lot of these people, even the dentist and the lawyer and the doctor, sometimes don't have the best credit. And so what I always say is you can fill in the blank, but if you're serious about fill in the blank, real estate investing, you know, you have to have good credit, right? And then when I pause like that, it's an uncomfortable silence and they say, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. And then, so that opens the door for us to solve their problem. We're not uh, belittling them. We're not looking down on them. We're not treating them um, disrespectful. We're going to give them the, the most respect and it's going to make them feel like, you know, okay, bad things happen to good people. Sometimes things happen. Sometimes things are mistakes. They're not even accurate. I think the credit bureau says it admits themselves that um, I don't remember the number, but it's a huge number of credit reports that have inaccurate data or old data or outdated data on their credit reports and people don't know about it and they suffer for it. And what we're simply going to do is we're going to address those issues before we submit them for the funds. Now, remember, we only began this beta test as a sample, as a test. We didn't really want to launch the program full bore, but apparently nobody got the word because we did get overwhelmed with clients um, very, very quickly. We got overwhelmed. So 
by the first of the year, we will have everything worked out. All of the documents will be the way they need to be. All of the advertisements will be the way they need to be. We will have a three to five minute video that we can send to people so that it explains the program and why people need working capital. And we'll have marketing uh, pieces in place for you to use to um, go after specific niche markets, whatever the kind of a niche market that you particularly like, you know, we'll have things available for you to market. And we'll have the rest of the program intact because right now it's kind of crazy to have a fully automated program being worked by hand. It's like, what? That doesn't even make sense. But it's what we're doing right now. We're doing it by hand. A fully automated program by hand. Ridiculous. Anyway, by the first of the year, things will be great. Uh, Regina, um, sh you just came on actually this week was a, your first part of your training in indoctrination. What do you think overall about what we're doing? I think it is a necessity um, to include myself, just uh, the financial literacy, literacy piece. To me, the credit is the foundation. Um, therefore, to support um, the 31 million small businesses that will need assistance coming this January due to the new um, administration. So I think it's wonderful. Um, it's going to be a necessity, a, a much needed necessity in the community. Wow, you're right, 31 million, that's a bunch of folks. And um, we only have 750 or thereabouts agents. Um, I guess you guys are gonna have to put on new agents in order to cover all of the building, all of the businesses that need your help. But you can see there's no, there's not going to be any kind of shortage of clients that you can help. So if you're willing to put in the work, if you're willing to um, reach out and do what we ask you to do, there's utterly, completely no shortage with 31 million businesses clamoring for money right now. I mean, that's it's on the nightly news all the time about how people are closed down and businesses and restaurants and it's it's pretty amazing. If you've got an un on a limitless source of clients that need your services. And no doubt, many of them have hit a speed bump in the road of life and their credit today may not be what it was six months ago. So you see, you have a lot of things that you can do uh, to help them. All right, anyone have any questions about it? Anyone uh, Frank, make any Yes, I have a question. I'd like to know when will the video be ready? I'm I'm told the video will be ready today. Uh, we worked on it over the weekend and yesterday uh, and Monday. Yeah, Tuesday morning. Yep. We spent Tuesday morning on it and um, it looks pretty good. We're trying to make a... Um, in marketing, what you like to do is you like to do a teaser video. Uh -oh. In marketing, what you like to do is a little teaser video, uh -huh. um, three to five minutes long, as, as fast as we can read this thing and do it, it's taking six minutes. So we're, gonna, we're still trying to shave it down to about um, the three to five minute speed and if we can't well so be it but what you do this is basically how it will work um, if anyone is familiar with doodly and they've seen um, videos that are that are sketched and they sketch in there's a hand and it draws pictures about what it is they're talking about that's what it is we're doing so okay. here's here's the way it works it'll be a three to a three to a six minute video talking about the very basics of why people need 
funding and why they should get more funding than they actually need. And so a lot of people who don't have a job to go to anymore will be starting home-based businesses. We're one of the only companies on the planet that deals with home-based businesses, such as Mary Kay, Avon, and, you know, those, you know, Enhance, um, New Skin, all of those people that, um, that are home-based businesses, they mm -hmm. don't have any place to get money. Now, what we're doing is we're making it available for those kind of people to get the money to, to do their home-based business. So there'll be a little teaser video that gives the, gives the details and asks them to sign up. And you will be sending out that video and it'll have your information at the end of it. Now, okay. if they don't sign up because of that video, then the second step is we'll have a live webinar that they can go to. And the live webinar will be something like this one. And it'll be about a half hour. During that half hour time, we'll have it in four segments. And each at the end of each segment, we'll uh, do what's called a call to action. We'll ask them to go sign up now four times throughout the presentation and then if that if they still haven't signed up, then we'll notify you that you need to call Mary because Mary viewed the video. She was on the webinar and she needs you to talk to her. And sometimes that's all it is. It's just Mary wants to talk to a human being. You call her up. You say, what did you think? I loved it. I can't wait to get started. Fine. Let me get you started right now. Okay. And there you go. And you close and you close the deal. That's that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan. And, and it looks like it's going to work. Uh -huh. And uh, we've uh, Doodly is is a very, very powerful program. They have a tremendous open rate and they have a tremendous conversion rate uh, because people don't read, but they they like to engage. And, and um, Doodly helps people engage. And when they're engaged, they act. So that's why we, that's why we chose Doodly. Okay, thank you. Okay, great question. Thank you for that question. Okay, any other questions? It is, it is the half hour and I'm getting ready to go ahead and wrap it up. I do have a question myself. Uh, and this is? David. From uh, Augusta, Georgia. Oh, well, welcome. Go ahead, ask your question. Uh, when it comes to the people that we've applied within the past week, uh, since the gentleman who had the beta test program is uh, shutting down for the rest of the year tomorrow, uh, should we advise that we're not looking at it until the beginning of the year, or is there something different for the people that are already already submitted? Fantastic question. Um, I, she doesn't know it, but um, Regina and I are going to call all, each one of the clients that we have, and we're going to be working with them. And if there's any way that we can resolve the issue and get them funded, then we will. Even while the, the gentleman closed down his shop and took off and went for two weeks Christmas break, um, we're going to continue to work. And Regina doesn't even know yet. I haven't told her yet. I guess I just did. You just told me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, does that answer that question? Uh, yes. Now, is this the only program shutting down or are all other programs? Oh, no, all the rest of the program. Well? No, all the rest of our programs are up and running. And okay. um, like the hard money. And actually, I kind of wanted to do a buy, fix, and flip uh, program today, but this took precedence because we've got so many in the pipeline right now that I thought we better we better address it so that people don't get upset with us. We're trying to make people happy, not angry. So, um, but we do have a, a brand new buy, fix, and flip program 
That's a no doc program. Oh my goodness, is that going to be a killer? But um, I can't, I can't launch that one when when this one isn't launched. Uh, I need to probably wait. So, but I have a I have a brand new program coming down the pike, where there's no documentation needed. Uh, we're just going to take your word for it. And for those people who are experienced in flipping. Buy, fix, and flip, buy, fix, and hold. Any of those people who experienced are going to have up to 100% on the buy, fix, and flip. And um, those who have never done a buy, fix, and flip, they usually don't fare well. Those guys are going to have up to a 70% um, acquisition price. If you couple that with any of the other programs we have, guess what they have? They got a hundred percent if they just couple it with the other programs that we have, which is what we'll be doing. But that's all I want to say about that. I'm excited about that program because you don't need a, a whole lot of background. You don't need a whole lot of history. If you just prove that you've done a couple of them by showing what's called a HUD one, there's a HUD one. You show that, that you've actually bought a house, fixed it up and flipped it and made a profit. Then uh, if we, trust you with that we'll trust you with our money and the money is going to be tremendous yeah. from a hundred thousand to well over five hundred thousand okay that's all that i had for today thank you for your questions any last questions before we, we say goodbye all right so at the end of the call what i like to do is Unmute everyone so that we can all make some noise. Ooh, thank you, Frank. Awesome. Right. Have fun. Have a great holiday. Be safe. See you in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>